Evans has put a force on me. It's like my whole life changed in an instant. It's just so ironic that when something like this finally happened to me, it was with an alien. Maybe when this all blows over, you and I could get lunch or something. Lunch? Yeah, if you want. So, like in the calf? Sure. Okay, great. It's a date. No, it's not a date. It's a lunch. Lunch. Right. I better get home. Yeah, yeah, me too. What do you mean she was nervous? I don't know. She, she was just, like, nervous. Nervous like just overexcited nervous? Or nervous she's going to crack nervous? I'm not sure what she's going to say. I'm really not sure of anything anymore. You're not sure? That's great. That's good. Max, I'm so sorry. I should never have even told Marie in the first place. Well, you did it because you trusted her. And you needed somebody to talk to. It was only natural. So why did you tell me? It was only natural. What did you mean the other day? About that thing, about the tree? Just somebody's advice. Not to get stuck behind them. Um, well, did you take it, that advice? I think I just did. Oh, and your space bags will be right out. This, my colleagues and I were just appreciating your wonderful overbite. Oh. Well, thank you. That's, that's the first, actually. Would you mind if we just take a look at your bite? For medical purposes. Sure. Part of me wants safety, wants to go back to how things were, to a life that I could predict, where I know what is going to be. And the other part of me wants to go somewhere else, into the unknown. Magnificent. Enjoy your dinner, gentlemen. It's an orthodontist convention. Apparently. So, um, are you waiting for Michael, or... No, no. I'll just have, uh, an alien blast. Me too. Excuse me? Nothing. Okay, um, one alien blast. He's the guy. Can I talk to you for a second? So I've been thinking about why I called you. You know, that day from the hospital. Because I, I knew that it was against the rules and it led to that whole awkward moment, but I called anyway. I sort of couldn't help it. Because when something like this happens, what's, what's happening to my grandmother? You don't really listen to logic to what you're supposed to do. You listen to your heart, and my heart told me to call you. Because you were the one person in the world that I really wanted to talk to. Max, I've been thinking something. And I'm really not going to be able to get it out of my head unless I just say it. I'm really sorry for asking you this. But is there, is there anything that you could do for my grandmother, you know, do? 
Liz, when I saved you, it was because you were shot. And there was a bullet in you. Something was happening to you that wasn't supposed to happen. It was before your time. But I can't just heal people. I'm not. you'd stay away from her. Let's call it even. All right, number four, what's your favorite TV show? I don't watch much television. You? America's Most Wanted. I don't watch it with my dad. All right, all right, let's get to the good ones. Ooh, uh, what? What's the best thing that's ever happened to you? Getting adopted, I guess. I'm gonna shed a tear. Best thing that ever happened to you? Winning the statewide junior rifle competition. Your favorite flavor is vanilla. Why don't you just bring them some ketchup or something? Just bringing you guys ketchup. So how's it going? Right. Yeah, we're really getting to know each other. That's good. I'm glad you came over, too, because I was hoping that we could skip on down to question number eight. Have you ever been in love? <laughs> hmm? How about it, Evans? No. Michael, we're not going. Liz, what are you doing here? Can I come in? Sure, yeah. So, what's going on? Um, I really didn't want to say this before because I didn't want anybody else to get involved. But, um, I'm going to the reservation. No, no, you're not. We're being watched. Maybe you're not just being watched. You know, maybe it's more than that. Max, today they came for the files, and what if tomorrow they come for you? If there's anything there, any possibility at all that this means something, we need to find out. Thanks for the offer. But no. Max, you saved my life. What does that have to do with it? It's what started all this. People suspecting you. anything happen to you, you know, or, or Michael or Isabel, I just, I couldn't live with that. Let me do this one thing. As I already told you, no. Max, I didn't come here for permission. I came here for the pendant. If you don't give it to me, I'll just draw it. I'm going. Hey. Huh? 
first moment anything weird happens. Anything at all. You come back. I promise. Just let him over here like you're shopping. Okay, he's there. I laugh. Like I just said something funny. <laughs> Max? We can't let him think we've seen him. Do you really think this is going to work? There's only one way to find out if he's really following us. time I saw Michael. It was in the desert. The night we first came out of the pods. The sky was bright with stars and this full moon. Isabella and I found each other first. We didn't know how to speak, but we could communicate anyway. We walked for a while, but we could both feel someone else. Michael. He said he saw us, but that he was afraid. So he just watched us for a long time. When he finally revealed himself, he was standing on this rock. <laughs> Just like you'd expect from Michael. Here I am. Deal with me. He said it was the hardest thing he's ever had to do. To trust us. So, um, how did you guys end up getting separated? Well, we all saw the headlights at the same time. Isabel took my hand. We knew we'd be safe as long as we stayed together. I held my hand off from Michael. I knew he wanted to. He just wouldn't take it. So we just looked at each other for a long time. I wouldn't see him again for three years. Isabel would cry every night wondering where he was. You all right? Uh, yeah. It, it's just kind of sad, you know, thinking of being separated like that. You're wondering if it could happen to me, aren't you? If I could get sick like Michael? No. Mm -hmm. I've been thinking about it a lot, too. Whether this is just our life cycle. And that maybe this is how we die. Max, it's 
It's, come on, it's not. I can understand if you have doubts about us. I mean, second thoughts. Because committing to someone is hard enough without having to wonder if they're even going to be here tomorrow. Your home delivery service? Oh, no, actually, um, I was just bringing a pie over the house. Oh. Yeah, I heard that he um, broke his ankle, so. That's too bad. Yeah, I, I kind of uh, feel a little bit responsible because I distracted him at the game and everything. Anyway, uh, it's not a big deal. It's just. Pie. Right. Uh, I'll see you. I'm so glad you're going to come with us. Yeah, me too. Because there's something that I think we should all talk about. And it'll be good to get away from all the outside influences that oh you've my God. been distracted by. What the? Oh, my God. What are we going to do here? Okay, no problem. Let's just, um, let's tell them that the two college guys had midterms and we're going to meet them next week in Albuquerque. No, wait, having a life is one thing, but having a whole fantasy life is just a little bit troubling, don't you think? Hit it! Butler! Hey, Valenti! Hey, Coach. I understand we're going to be bunking together this trip. Pinch me. I'll take it from here, Coach. Okay. New tent, right? So, I thought you had to work. Well, they'll get a hold of me if they need to. I'll go check us in. Hey, squeezed another year out of it, huh? Oh, yeah, you know, you're lucky you got a boy. Yeah. Hello, Sheriff. Hey, Jim. This weekend is Jim. Huh. So... Freeze your woods, huh? Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but it makes me a little nervous. It's a Wellmar campsite. I mean, about the siding. Isn't it close to where we're going? That's three, maybe four miles. There's nothing to worry about. Truman! Kevin! Kevin! What's he doing? Well, he's going to find out. They're going out better than Ronowski! Parker! Harris! No, uh, expensive dinner? Actually, there's been a change of plans. And we're making such progress. So, why'd they kill the aliens? What aliens? From the 47 crash. Why'd they kill them? Well, maybe you should visit our theories on 47 exhibit. But I thought this was the information booth. Well, yeah, it is. When you're with her, think about Mud. It help me. Oh my God, I don't need some trick. I can handle this. Hi. Um, I just wanted to talk to you about the luncheon that we're catering. Oh, yeah. If it's work related, sure. It's just I'm kind of busy. Okay. Um, here's. Um, it's just that um, Larry and Jennifer are back. You know, the ones that were there the day that I got shot. And now, if Jennifer won't leave, she just planted herself in a crash down. It's like, I don't know, she's been sitting there for hours. And hours. And I kind of feel like she's been watching. So I came here to tell you that they're here because, you know, in case anything should happen, I wanted you to know. So my mom is about what it was. Mud. What? Pie. Mud pie. For the lunch, the crash down is, is catering tomorrow. I was thinking about mud pie. Okay, um, I'll see if I can arrange it. I gotta go. I'm, I'm really busy. Okay. We're back live on Carol's Eve from the strangest blood date I've ever been on as I entered the club with Liz Parker, her dream man, Doug Jello, and not one but two of her ex-boyfriends, Lyle and Kyle. And Max. I can't control either one of them. You guys have really gotta help me, please. I think you could better as a blonde. Um... You know, I think I, I just better get him home. Boy, hey, hey, hold on there, dream girl. You're not going to get off so easy. I mean, look at these guys. You got them hanging on by a string, and I think you owe it to them and the KROZ listeners to choose your Valentine here and now. Will it be Doug, the dream man we chose for you? The ex-boyfriend, Lyle? Kyle. Or Max, who kidnapped you and vandalized your home? What do you have to say for yourselves, men? thought you just wanted a normal date. <laughs> okay, go for it, Kyle. Hey, I just happen to be nominated. And I think I'm up to you. 
All right. Well, convince her, Max. reality when the mind's gone into overload. Veterinarians use it to calm wild animals. Oh, well, that, that's great. Here. You can have this, and anytime you feel yourself spiraling out of control, put four drops under your tongue, okay? Okay. Now would be a good time. Hey. Hi. What's that? Oh, um, uh, it's, it's nothing. You know, Max, the other night when, when we kissed, I, um... Yeah. Hey, something's up with Michael. He's acting weird. Weirder than usual? Yeah, no, I just saw him at the other end of the hall, and he just went the other way. Well, maybe he didn't see you. No, he was ignoring me. He practically ran into the bathroom. Will you just go in there and see what's going on? Right. Thank you. I'll see you later. Sorry. Okay. do a lot of dumb things when they're drunk. Anyway, I understand. And we're friends? Yeah. We're friends. Just friends? Yeah.
that I was meeting you. She tricked you? Max, come on, just stop it, all right? Don't you see what she's doing? Look, Max, I really think we should just trust her. No, no one is trying to help us. Just stay away from Max, her. it's not just about you guys anymore, okay? Maria, Alex, and I, were on that list, too. I think that we should just all have a say in all of this. What list? yourself in danger. Thanks for believing in me. You went on faith. A lot of it. I know. You know what? You still kissed her, Max. I don't know if there'll ever be reason enough to explain that. I can't believe this. I can't believe Macedo has her. We've got to find out where they are. How are we going to do that? We've got to go to Valenti. And tell him what? There's two Maxes. The good one's right here, but please help us catch his evil twin. That's not what he needs. Well, then what are we going to say? I don't care what we say. Liz's life is at stake. Valenti's the only one with the resources. He can put out an APB. He can contact other towns. If we tell him, he'll know everything. I don't care anymore. You can't make this decision by yourself, Max. Not this time. We all have to agree. Since when? Weren't you the one who went off with Toposki by yourself? Liz's life is in danger, and suddenly we've got rules. No, there's always been rules. Tell no one. You're the one who broke that. You're not going to do that again. Wait, wait. Maybe we don't. Okay, look. As far as Valenti knows, there's only one Max. That's you. So as far as he knows, you've taken Liz. Somebody dug up pieces of the past. If I can just fix it, it can all be over. Things go back to how they were. I don't think they can. So, I never really got the whole story. Uh, why are we looking for these bones? What, what exactly is cadmium X? It's an isotope of cadmium that might have been created when Michael killed Pierce. Oh, so it's like some sort of after effect of Michael using his powers? Something like that. And if we don't get the bones before they're able to test for cadmium X, Michael is screwed. We all are. Well, did you check the particle physics lab at Las Cruces University? The what? It opened up last year. Mr. Selgin spent like two weeks in physics obsessing about it last semester. The new cyclotron can measure isotope ratios. So if cadmium X is extraterrestrial, that's where you would go to find it out. I'm not a dork. I just enjoy science. Max! Sarah's dead. What? She came to me. Injured. So was another alien. Yeah, we're all in danger. He died. In my arms. He, he died in my arms. Oh, my God. We have to get the Sato to the pot chamber, use the healing stones to revive him. Max, where is he? Where's the Sato? In my room. In your room? Where's the jeep? Out back. Get the keys. Oh, Max, you're hurt. What should we do? No, just go home. Wait, what about this other alien? Shouldn't we at least try and go and I'll find handle him? You're not in charge here, Michael. Well, somebody has to be. Thanks, well, let's go. Come on. I won't leave you. No, 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 Max, you have to. If I'm successful. 
successful. If I can do this, you and I won't exist. Not as we do now. Beth, if you don't do this, we're going to die. Everyone will. Beth, you have to do this. You have to try it. I'll never see you. Thank you. <laughs> For what? For every kiss, every smile. Beth, I don't have any regrets. Well, there goes that theory. Michael! Max, what, what happened? You know, we, we just got back from Dexter. Our parents disappeared. It seems like the whole town is gone. All the humans, at least. Why not us? I'm sorry. Wait, what is going on here? Everyone's gone? They're gone? Like, dead? We don't know that. Pick up the phone, Alex. All we can do right now is focus on the fact that we have each other. Alex's band just burned a new CD and he couldn't wait to show me. First thing we need to do is figure out who did this. We know who did this. The skin. Yeah, we found one of those snake skin things off Elm Street. Nicholas. This is our fault. No. It's hers. You led the skins straight to Roswell, Courtney. She's with us, Tess. What did your people do to the town? They're not my people. Stop pointing fingers. We're the ones who destroyed their harvest. They're here to settle the score with all of us. Into the bathroom. They're coming now. Please, take my hand. I don't know why, but I'm really scared to do this. You know, if, if you can't contact him, what makes you think I can? I know my brother, and I know that if there's one voice he will hear, no matter where he is, no matter what he's doing, it's yours. Take my hand, Liz.
surprise with that? I'm with Brad now. Brad doesn't even exist. Besides, you want someone who can do this. dreams. Yes, you know, life. It's, why? Because it doesn't work that way for us. You know that. You and Isabel and Michael and Tess are... You guys are getting cheated on a lot of things and it's not fair. None of it is. Yes, you should get to see Sweden. Would never do something. No, like that. of course not. It's ridiculous. 
And you know what's going to happen. Hanson is going to go and he's going to put that in his report and it is going to be in the newspaper for every single person to read. All of his friends, his family. No. Alex Whitman's death was declared a suicide yesterday by the Roswell Sheriff's Department. We won't let that happen. I'll, I'll talk to Valenti. He, he's just jumping to conclusions. Just the fact that his parents have to go through this, this, this nightmare. They do not need to think that their son... <sighs> I'll handle it. Thank you. Oh. Hungry? That was embarrassing. No, it's all right. When's the last time you ate? Um, uh, yesterday, I think. How does frozen macaroni and cheese sound? You want to shoot someone, shoot me. This is my fault. Don't tempt me. Cops. Get in the office. All of you. Go! Move now! Go! Get in there! Drink! Move! You were right. About Alex. He was killed by an alien. I prayed that that wasn't the case, but it was. Well, we're responsible. I never blamed you, Max. I never blamed any of you. I know. I know you didn't. I never wanted to lose you. Me either. Listen. I need all the information that you have on the unit. Why? I have to take care of the situation. Well, take care of it how? Well, I'm coming with you. No. I started this. I'm going to see this through to the end. She killed Alex. Let's go. What? What do you mean? Let's get out of here. Max, and then what? Just be on the run the rest of our lives? We'd never be able to go home again. It's not as bad as it sounds. No, Max, I'm sorry, but that's just too far for me. I'm not ready to give up my home or my family. I wish we could trade places. No, 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 Max, okay, I don't. You're free. We came here for a reason, because your son is in trouble. And you need to go back and do what we came for. You know, see if your ship works. Come on, I don't want this to all be for nothing. Dear Max, it's so horrible and so unjust to pass you in school and have to wonder whether some teacher's going to call my father. But, but no matter how hard my parents try, nothing can keep us apart. And I love you. And even when I can't see you in the day, I see you at night in my dreams. And I have been dreaming about you. Over and over, it's you and me holding hands and flying through the night. I know it sounds cornball, but it isn't. It's amazing. Like Superman and Lois Lane in the first movie. You know, the good one. He wasn't coming in. Let's get back to work. He wasn't coming in here. He wasn't breaking the rules. We'll talk about it after your shift, okay? This is so ridiculous. You can't keep us from seeing each other. Oh, table 11's waiting. Oh, look at that. together. I want it for the right reasons. How about being together? 
You know, we just leave tonight and find some place. The cost is too high. We'll get jobs. Your family, Liz. We destroy your mom and dad. They're destroying us. Liz. They are, Max. Well, my father is, anyway. How am I supposed to help you find your child? I can't even be with you. You are with me. All the time. All the time. Clapper loader. Oh, he's the guy who bangs the thing and goes take one, take two. Oh. Who are you with? Uh, a friend. I'm just taking her back to her place. Her place? I mean, uh, I'm just dropping her off. She's helping me. Okay. We're getting off the subject. Okay. Um, well, here's a the theory. If the clapper loader is the shapeshifter, then I'm thinking that maybe that's his base form. The body he always goes back to. Right. And if that's true, maybe if you can find out what this clapper loader looked like in 1959. He might still look like that today. Exactly. Okay. So how do we find out what this guy looked like? Well, he'll be on all the film. He's not in the actual movie, but he'll be in all the dailies. What are dailies? Dailies? Dailies are all the footage they shoot in one day. You know, like outtakes, bloopers, alternate angles, that stuff. Thanks. I'm really glad that she's so helpful. <clears throat> so how do we get a hold of 50-year-old dailies? Uh, well, I did some research, and I found out that the rights they are among us were eventually sold to Paramount Pictures, so all of their dailies should be in their film vaults. God, I love you. Well, did she hear that? Definitely. Good. Call me when you find a way onto the Paramount lot. Alone. So much I have been through. I try to turn these rocks to right. Hi. When did you get back? Just now. I know that we were not so kind. He didn't call. I was driving all night. I just had to get back to see you. Sometimes to reverse one. I'm sorry. You can't do this, Max. I love you, but you know, lately I just haven't been feeling it back. I didn't mean that. But you did. Listen, I know you've been here, alone, waiting for me, and... And I've... I was wrong. No, Max. What, Max? What happened? I failed. Son. He's up there somewhere. Man, I've just messed everything up. Langley's life. Yours. Hmm. I'm so sorry, Liz. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I'll never leave you, Liz. There's a chafing dish in my truck. Get that? Right away. Dad. Yes. I'm gonna dance with Max. Not because it's tradition and not because I found some kind of loophole, but because it's my choice. We love each other and we are gonna be together. about when I find my son.
know what that might mean for us. Should I worry? No. I saw Samuel this morning with his family, and it made me realize something. There's no reason both of us should have a coming New Year's. I'd feel like a third wheel. No, you would be a guy hanging out with his two best friends on New Year's, and you'd be having a really good time. Right? I need more convincing. I almost believe it. Go back. I have to go back downstairs. All right, okay. But on one condition. Midnight comes and we're together. How are we going to do that? I'm going to be downstairs and you are going to be out. We find a way. Somehow, some way we make it happen. Okay. Okay. I'll find a way. Okay. See you at midnight. Give me as a chaperone. This is Father who's giving you the green light for you guys to be together. I just don't want her dad to think I'm some loser who doesn't have anything better to do all morning than sit in a booth away for Liz to get off work. <laughs> Must I make the obvious comment? Please don't. Max. Liz. Max. Liz. Can we get a table for two? Oh, certainly, Isabel. You must be here to have breakfast with Max, because he's certainly not here just to see me. Are you, Max? Certainly not. This way. Hey. Hi. You must have the set. Yeah, I got held up the library. Oh. Um, so are Isabel and Jess coming? Uh, they're in Santa Fe tonight. What about Michael? This is a big thing for Maria. She's been practicing for like over a week. None of her friends showed up. I don't think she's gonna notice. Come on, I'm sorry. I'm not funny, she'd apologize to. What's wrong? Nothing. I think I'm coming down with something. Well, there's a bad flu ball. Ah, perfect. Yeah, it's terrible. 
fever, sore throat, nausea, and an uncontrollable urge to dance. No! Max! Max! Liz Parker on this floor. Oh, hey, Liz. Um, there's somebody on the phone for you. Hello? Liz, it's me. Hi, Max. I miss you. I'm sorry that I didn't call. It's just that I didn't know what to say after all those horrible things I said. I don't even care about that. I just want to know that you're okay. I am. I'm really good. I, I, this place, it's really good for me. You know, they, they have a biology club here, and I'm going to go on a ski trip this weekend. So you haven't had any more symptoms? Um, no, not since I've been here. That's great. So maybe you can come home soon. I mean, I, I know all that stuff you said in your letter about wanting to meet Roswell and, and get away from it and all, but I know that we can work everything out. Oh, my God. What? What happened? Nothing. Liz, are you okay? Yeah, Max, I'm fine. I just, I really can't talk. Can you call me later? Yeah, I'll try. I just, I really have to get off the phone now, Max. Bye. Um, the phone doesn't work. It's, it, it's out of order. I just, I need to wake up. You need to go away, okay? Just go away. Oh, my God, Max. Hey, Max. Hey, Mr. Parker. I'll be right out, Dad. Sure. You make me angry, boss. He's giving you a hard time? No, he's being a total saint. You know, Winneman wouldn't give him back his deposit. Wow, that's terrible. Yeah. So it, it seems like you're pretty busy tonight. Why? I just thought it might be fun if we went out. Max, it's not that I don't want to. It's just that things can't go back to the way they were. Could we at least hang out like friends? You know, my orders are backing up. I'll have to call you. We're going to kill him. What? He saw something and they need to get rid of him. The clean team is on its way to pick him up and take him to the desert. We're getting there first. Where'd you get those clothes? We got a plan. You've got a plan? No, 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 no. We're talking about my dad here. I'm not just gonna let some high school. In. Hey, we've had practice, okay? Who are you people? We're the good guys. Maxwell, we gotta go. Yeah. You know what I mean? In two hours. Right. Connie, we'll get him back. I promise. Hey, be careful. If there really is a spaceship, don't get on it. Not a chance in hell. By the way, I'm sorry for ever suggesting you'd be better off dead. Go. Do a good thing. I'll kill you! Please. No! You're murdered! I'll kill you! Please. No! Welcome back. What? 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 
So you trust her now? No, Liz. Far from it. But Tess and my son are linked. Killing her would kill him. Yeah, it's convenient. Liz, I have no other choice. I have to believe her. This is insane. She betrayed all of us. She killed Alex. I know. No, she has to pay for it. Max promised me when this is all over, Tess will pay for what she did. I promise. Let me know when it's over. Hey, Liz, is everything okay? Guess not. Congratulations. You said that already. Oh. But I like the way you say it. Hey, college girls. Hey, you want to be left for our minds, not our bodies. Are you serious? You know about wanting to come with me. I've never been more serious. What a great mind you have. Oh, I don't think that's my mind. But keep looking. I'm sure you'll find it. Really? Mm hmm You know where I can tell the future? And tonight, your future looks very, very bright. It was terrible. We were all killed. I saw it. All is in everybody? Max, it's about Michael and me. I dream we all get whacked every other night. Why the meeting? Well, they started to have premonitions from touching people. Uh, she saw a woman about to be killed in her armed robbery. We followed them. We were able to stop it. Can you believe it? You think this could really happen? I think we should all take this seriously. Okay, so where do we get popped? When do we get popped? And who pops us? I don't know. The flashes were sort of impressionistic. We need more information. Where were you? Where were you when you had the flashes? Here. You said you got these flashes from touching people. They were. I was touching people. How cozy. I think we should just focus on what we should do next. Right. Uh, we should all stay in guard. Liz and I will attempt to uh, achieve another flash. Seems like the thing to do. So I, uh, I take it I have no homework, right? Okay. So uh, I gotta speak to you, space boy. We have an appointment tomorrow.